Long time no see. Is that a... There's a cat in here. So y'all just are not trying to let me rest. and not trying to let me have a day off. Just get over the light switch. Okay. I, I just, I can't even get a minute when it comes to this drama. Shit is breaking and changing every two seconds. And now that we've gotten all my seriousness out of the way, let's get petty. Let's get messy. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another A Sister Scandal because as I got done posting my previous video about the James Charles and Tati Westbrook scandal, I had done a whole bunch of other stuff. I went out in the rain, so we gotta fix this face. And my hair's back up. You know guys, I did one video with my hair down and that's all you're gonna fucking get. So, the, since I have been off of YouTube for, I don't know, a couple of hours. I went back, responded to some comments, and then I saw a video of the actual waiter from Seattle that Tati talked about made a video, and I'm not sure. Sorry, I keep getting phone calls. I'm not sure how I feel about it, you guys. I'm not sure, because when I watched it, he was just like, okay, so this is what happened. Jane, James asked for my number and uh, asked me if I had a valentine. And I was just not sure how I felt about it. So I didn't say anything to him. And then he kept trying to get my phone number. But the other people that were on my like team, the other waiters at the restaurant were like, no, like we're not going to give it to you. And I was like, just don't give it to him. Then I decided that maybe I'd be curious. My sister actually convinced me to write him, like send him a DM. He's like, so I did and I thought, you know, I'm a little back curious myself. Let me see what's gonna go down. And he's like, so I wrote him back and they were still in Seattle. So he's like, do you wanna come to my hotel room and cuddle? And the guy was like, okay, like I'll do that, that's fine. And went and James was like, he was, well in James's video talking about the situation, I think it was on Nikita Dragon's channel. He was like, oh, well, I had him, um, Brought up by 3,000 security guards and armed guards that were guarding my room. He's like, no. I was brought up by the concierge. And I'm like, okay, Mr. Self-Important. Armed guards. And he's like, no. I was brought up by one concierge of the hotel. And that was it. So, this hairline looking a little pasty white. Anyway. Then he goes on to be like, so we did kiss and we did cuddle. And then I was like, I want to, I have to go home. And James was like, no, 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 don't leave, don't leave. And he was just like, yep, gonna go, bye, left, right? Went back to his hotel and was like, I feel really weird about everything that happened. Like, I'm just not into it, let me tell him. And told him, there's even in this video, if it's still existing, I'll link it, but I don't think so. Cause every time that I've caught it, it's been deleted. But Petty Page, if you guys follow her, and she does have like a screen recording of the video so you can go see it on her channel. It's Petty Page. Okay? Petty Page. She has a really good video of that. And I don't like to insert video clips because I'm not getting demonetized or sued over using somebody else's content. That's just not how it is. Google is free. YouTube is free. Look it up. Anyway. Proceeds to say. He records. Somebody records sitting to the side. Of his phone while he FaceTimes James Charles, which is that illegal? It very well might be illegal to do that, whichever state he's in. I'm not 100% sure. Some states it's illegal, some states it's not, but to record somebody without their knowledge in some states is illegal. Shut. And he was like, um, confronting James. Sorry, look how hot, look at how red my arms are. It's really hot. If you can hear a fan, I'm sorry. <sighs> so good. But, yeah, recorded him. And he told, I'm getting ahead of myself. He told James, like, I'm going to it. I'm pretty sure I'm straight. And James just said, and he has screenshots. And he posted, he's like, you're not straight. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you have to tell yourself. You're not straight. You, you know, hopefully you'll come to terms with it sooner rather than later. But also stop telling people that we ended things on good terms because we did it. And the guy's just like, okay. He's like, how, how do you know that I'm not straight like you? How do you know that? 
And that's all the conversation that's in those screenshots. Then we're all like, I'm like rallied up behind him. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Like this guy is a fucking predator, horrible, 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 which I still believe completely. I stand beside that. But then the guy, right? It's like, plus I found out he was talking to Gage at the same time as me. So I was like, yep, yep. You're doing a pattern of behavior. Like you're laying out a pattern of behavior that just shows that he has done this to multiple guys at the same time. Cool. Got it. That's not why this guy was upset about that in the screen recording he has of him facetiming james charles he was jealous obviously jealous because he didn't say to him at all like you must do this to a lot of guys he was just like i wasn't talking to anybody else why were you talking to somebody else and i'm like hmm so you're really not helping the cause my dude because now you're just looking like a jealous ass person you're jealous that he was talking to gage at the same time as you so if you really feel super used and betrayed you would not care that's just my opinion i still think james charles is a creep i still think that he's a predator but that video is going to do nothing for people's opinion towards james and being a predator you know what i'm saying like that doesn't validate anything for me at all all that like his opinion or being his whole video was great until he starts talking about gage and how he was talking to gage at the same time and then he has a screen recording of him asking james if he was talking to somebody at the same time as him to which he was like yeah i was and i'm sure you were too and he's like i was not it was just me and you and i'm like hmm you might be a clout chaser which I 100% think he was. I do think that James takes advantage of people like that. If they are trying to take advantage of him. Fine. You're a fucking predator still. I still believe that 100%. And I believe that you know when people are like chasing clout. And you use that to your advantage. 100% believe that. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Moving on from that. Gabriel Zamora also spoke back out and tried to shade Tati and was like yeah I was there because you want to call me out by name I was there and that's not how it went down and you know it so we're all just like T interesting so he says that that is not the way the situation played out as somebody like being like preyed upon by James he said it was more like um the story was told to them at the same time and it seemed like that guy was just chasing clout which is what he said he said if i thought that there was any predatory behavior going on like i wouldn't condone it and you didn't say anything either like if at if that's what we're basing it on is our conversation in the kitchen you didn't call him out either all you said was well he's probably just straight you didn't call him out and say he was a predator either so i'm just like interesting also gabriel Shut the fuck up, because James isn't coming out here defending you. He's not going to. So, all you're going to do is throw yourself under the bus again, as you've done before, with trying to stick up for and defend people that are not going to defend you when their careers are crumbling, because guess what? He's not going to. He's not going to tell people not to hate on you. He's not going to stick up and be like, I'm so happy that Gabriel is my friend. No. He's going to do damage control for his own career. And if his PR agent has any sense in his fucking brain at all, he's going to tell him not to talk to you. For sure. Because drama fucking follows you. You and Thomas Halpert should be best fucking friends. Sorry, Thomas. You know you're a shit stirrer. So is Gabriel. You are one and the same. And now, my final point of um, bringing up some new information. Fucking the king himself has posted a video, the king of YouTube, PewDiePie, with 95 million subscribers. This has made it all the way up to the top. He is Camp James. He said that Tati's entire video looked like an ad for her company. How many times she mentions her company, it says that I'm a good person, James is a bad person. My vitamins are good, sugar bear hair is bad. I have so many plans to be more successful and do things in the future. And he says that if she really had those plans, she would just do it now. So I'm just like, well, you guys, the fucking king has come in and he has fucking spoken. But I disagree with him 100%. Because I don't think Tati's 
mentioning of her brand was like a like advertisement you know I, I think she was just mention mentioning it to be like everything's fine with Mike so you guys don't worry like James putting out a ad for sugar bear hair isn't like bankrupting my company we're fine I don't think it was like that that's that's what I think it was I don't think she was like buy my stuff buy everything I have fuck sugar bear hair I think she was a little bit like fuck sugar bear hair but I don't think her mentioning her company was like an advert I mean it was an advertisement but I don't think she meant it to be like that that's just what I personally got from it I think it was more of like I'm just kind of talking about what's going on in my company because it's irrelevant to this video not um I'm good James sucks I am a great person James is a bad person I think she was just like speaking I guess to her own character but everybody that follows Tati knows kind of how she is as a person and I don't think that that was weird at all like I didn't feel as though she was like I don't know trying to promote her own stuff like in that video that she knew would get a lot of views I, I just don't feel that way personally maybe you guys do um don't set my house on fire because I'm disagreeing with PewDiePie but I just think he's really wrong I think he is very uninformed in the beauty community and the way some some of these people like work I don't understand why he's putting in his two cents I just don't I don't get it. My water's right here. I, um, I have a lot of anima like anxiety even talking about Peepa. Not in like a bow down to the king kind of way. Because I don't watch his videos. I'm not subscribed to him. Not in a shitty way. Just in I'm, I don't like that's not the kind of videos I watch. So I mean like it's not interesting to me. Not that he's not a great creator or like our lord and savior or whatever. I just don't watch his videos. The same reason that he doesn't watch beauty videos because it doesn't appeal to him. So, I'm assuming. I don't know if he watches beauty videos. He might. I don't fucking know. But I'm assuming not because he's like, isn't he like primarily like a gaming channel? Oh my god, I totally forgot I had this prop. There we go. Because I thought he was like a gamer, like gaming channel. I could be wrong. All his videos, he's got like on headphones and he's sitting in a gaming chair. So, okay. Could be wrong. Don't think I am though. I think I'm, I think I'm right. He, I just think he's putting his nose where it doesn't belong. And he is like publicly endorsing someone like James. And when all this hits the fan, I really think he's going to regret that. I think that maybe he just is, you know, I doubt that he's really concerned about views. Like, I don't think he's posting stuff trying to get, I'm posting stuff trying to get views. Like, that's what I'm doing here. Somebody with 20, with 25, with 95 million subscribers could, po could post like a 45 minute long video of him farting and everybody would watch it because he is who he is and he doesn't have to try to get views. Not that he doesn't try for his content. I'm sure he does. My point is he doesn't have to like be conscious in my mind. I'm going to talk about drama because it's relevant because that's not making or breaking his fucking life. Like his bank is still stacked. It is. He's still got more subscribers than all of us put together. So he's doing just fucking fine. I just think that he's sitting in the wrong camp and when he realizes he is, it might be too late. Not that I think his career is going to suffer. I just think he will, like, his, you know, his conscience might a little bit. Hey, but maybe it'll come out on the other side that maybe Tati's been lying the whole fucking time. I don't think so. But you just never know with this shit because that's the only side of the story that we're getting consistently because James is just like, not, I'm not talking about it. But, some further tea about uh, Sister James. We, there's word going around that he is being dropped from killer merch which is james james star i bet he wishes it's jeffree star's uh, fulfillment center like he has a merch company uh manny used it laura used it all been dropped um and now sister james go look at that sister's apparel website he getting dropped boop he's getting dropped guarantee if he hasn't already been dropped he is going to be dropped because Jeffrey owns the company Jeffrey's cut all ties Jeffrey called out his brother 
on Twitter and was like, why the fuck did you actually move back to New York? Your brother is a fucking predator. And I'm just like, ooh. Maybe don't come for like the 15 year old boy. Like, maybe leave him out of it. He did insert himself with like, I don't understand why everybody's such like a keyboard warrior and he's just like, it's cause your brother is a creepy bitch. So maybe shut up. Hmm. 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 So, that is our update. Oh. So, I'm um, our sister tour with our $3 million tickets. It looks like some dates are being canceled. Are people getting their refunds? So far, no. For a $500 fucking ticket, there has not been any refunds issued so far. I will keep you updated on that as we go. But um, he's trying to look like grasp all the little bit of coin that he can because he knows his shit is ruined. It's over for you. And I will let you guys know when there's any other updates. But once the king spoke out, we knew we had to talk about it. And that vid go watch Petty Page's video because she does put in clips like of the waiter's video and you'll see why it kind of sends mixed messages because in the beginning of it i was totally behind him and like oh i said Bleh. speak out don't don't be silenced but now i'm like you just made it seem like you were super fucking jealous so you're just a clout chasing ass bitch and i feel the same way about gage too clout chasing but you want to I, I still don't think it's okay for what happened to them but they shouldn't have put themselves in that position by chasing clout you know what i'm saying like just be normal you don't have to pretend to be bisexual or bi-curious. They could have actually been, I don't know, but the way that they've behaved like after this makes me feel like maybe they weren't and they were just clout chasing. James blatantly saying, you are absolutely not a straight man, blah, 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 is not okay because that's not his decision to make if they're gay or if they're straight. But I think there was some clout chasing involved not that I think James was right at all, but I think that they're both, they're both wrong. When you watch that video, you'll understand, like, why I feel that way. Because he just seems super jealous that James was talking to someone else when they were kind of talking. You know, they were like, I think they were courting. He was talking to someone else and was super upset. Maybe James should really just stop trying to go after any guy that wants to talk to him because that's kind of looking like it's not a good idea for you. Or how about only date men that are gay since you are gay? You know? That would probably help. Sorry. That's rude. Maybe don't go after straight men. And I understand. I get I, I get it. I really do. Like, I deeply and personally understand the appeal. Because it's a conquest. I get that. I really, really do. But you are fucking predatory. And you need to stop. And that's all I have for this update. I will keep you guys updated. I have a feeling that we'll have a couple more of these uh, shady ass videos to come. Because shit just keeps hitting the fan. And keeps hitting the fan. And fucking PewDiePie is involved now. And I'm just like... Child, oh god, oh get my fan. Oh, it's too hot. But anyway, you guys, I don't know if I'll put this one up on the same day as my last one. I may try to stagger these so I'm not just like overwhelming you guys with videos about the same thing because a lot of people don't care. So it's just going to be really frustrating for them to keep seeing that just videos about the same shit on my channel all the time. And I'm sorry if you guys don't care about the drama and you don't care about the beauty community. I am sorry. We will get back to business as usual at some point. But a lot of people really care a lot. So if you could just bear with us, we will be back to our regular scheduled programming at some point, I'm sure. Because eventually we're all going to get bored. Anyway, if you would like to... You should follow me on my other social media accounts. You can follow me on Instagram at GrungeXGlitterX. Because somebody already has the name GrungeXGlitter and they have a lot of my followers. So they hadn't posted on that Instagram in a couple of years. And then when all my followers started following them, thinking it was me, they started posting makeup. I mean, good for you, girl. Do your thing. I really want your name. I want your username real bad. <laughs> but GrungeXGlitter, 
X at the end is my Instagram. If you follow me on Snapchat and Twitter, it's Grunge X Glitter. And you follow me on Facebook at Grunge and Glitter Dash K P. That's me. I post the most on Instagram. Go follow my Instagram. We're finally going up in followers because I've been losing followers steadily since this algorithm has changed. And I have lost now 2,000. Almost through. No. I had 20.6 at one point, and now we're at 20,000. So I've lost thousands of subscribers because of this thing. Um, a lot of you guys have come to me in the DMs and been like, hey, I don't know what's going on, but I just thought you should know that for some reason I'm not following your Instagram anymore, and I don't know why. Or hey, just so you know, my I didn't unsubscribe from you. My YouTube did it by itself. I'm resubscribed. I just wanted you to know that this problem exists. So just go check if you're still on my Instagram. You should check. And if you have, if you're not, you should re-follow me because we have a lot of good times. We post makeup, we post dogs, whatever the fuck else. So it's a lot more of like my personal life. So if you give a shit about that at all, Instagram girl. And I do try to respond to some DMs. I get thousands, but I do try to respond. Anyway, I'm trying to talk and this video has been over for like 10 minutes. So let's just cut it. Let's snap it. The end. I will keep you guys updated if I see anything else. I love you.